Let's have a look at the Sage 300 ERP visual process flows. A visual process flow is an interactive flow diagram that displays the steps required to complete a task. A visual process flow will hopefully increase productivity and understanding of the Sage 300 ERP program by providing end users with a visual map of what is required to accomplish frequently used tasks. Visual Process Flow provides a graphical interface that can replace the need for a complex menu-based interface. Note that it is possible for you to edit Visual Process Flow diagrams using the Sage Process Designer utility. Let's have a look at an existing Visual Process Flow. Specifically, let's have a look at Order Entry. This is a copy of the screenshot of what you're going to see when using the OE Visual Process Flow. These light green circles when clicked on, will cause the appropriate Sage 300 ERP interface to appear. So by default, we have the quotes and sales orders icons. We have the shipments, invoices, as well as the returns and debit and credit note interfaces. If you click on the dark green solid circles, they will actually cause submenus to appear. For example, if we have a look at analytical reports, we can see that if you click on any of the menu options, under analytical reports, for example, the transaction list, the order action, or age orders report, the appropriate report interface will appear. There are also white circles that is outlined in green. These icons include day end processing, customers, and items. These icons are not normally found in order entry. They are normally found in inventory control and customers, but if you were to click on, for example, day end processing or items, the appropriate functions in inventory control will appear. If you were to click on customers, it will bring up the customers interface. Let's have a live look at using the Sage 300 ERP visual process flows. Please note that the visual process flows can be found exclusively within the Classic Desktop. Upon activation of the Classic Desktop, there is a program group here called Visual Process Flows. If you expand Visual Process Flows, we can see the modules that the Visual Process Flows are available for. Let's have a look at the Accounts Payable Visual Process Flow. I'm going to double click on AP Transactions. And the following UI is displayed here. So again, what we can see is a visual map that is hopefully intuitive for the end users in terms of what it is that they have to do. For example, when recording invoices, this is the first thing that we have to uh, click on, enter vendor invoices. So when this button is clicked on, the invoice entry screen will appear. I'm going to close this down. After entering invoices, the next step in the workflow is to enter the appropriate payments to those vendors. There's an icon here called Make Payments. So if I click on Make Payments, again it brings up the payment entry window. You'll notice that along this particular map, there are a couple of other buttons, transaction reports and analytical reports. You'll notice that these buttons are darker than the enter vendor invoices and make payments buttons. I can click on any of these buttons and you'll notice that if I click on those buttons there, the menus disappear. If I click on transaction reports again, the submenu will appear here again. So obviously under transaction reports, normally after you create invoices or after you enter payments you're going to print out some sort of a report for example a, a batch listing report there are many different reports that you can print so again under transaction reports if I click on this button I can click for example on the batch listing report by clicking on batch list and that will bring up the interface to print the batch listing report so this is fairly straightforward if I wanted to perform inquiries what I can do is I can click on the inquiries button and I can choose to query on vendor activities, 1099, CPRS, or payments. So if I wanted to fire up the vendor activity interface, I simply click on vendor activities. And this brings up the AP vendor activity interface. The visual process flows for the other modules are very intuitive and hopefully straightforward. If I click on AR transactions, these are the visual process flows that show up by default for AR transactions for bank reconciliation. By default, this is what the visual process flow looks like for bank reconciliation. 
It is possible for me to customize the interface of any of the existing visual process flows. Let's say, for example, under AP Transactions, I wanted to add the AP Vendor Activity such that it is available as a button here on the main landing screen of the AP Visual Process Flow. To do that, because of the fact that I want to add a specific view, namely the AP Vendor Activity, it's a good idea to go into Accounts Payable and discover the view number first. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on AP. I want to make sure that View Details is selected. It already is. I'm then going to browse to AP Vendors and I'm going to look at Vendor Activity. And I can see that the appropriate view is AP1500. Armed with this information, I'm going to go back into my visual process flow for AP Transactions. And then I'm going to right click on the left hand side on AP Transactions. I'm then going to click on Edit. And the visual process flow designer is now going to appear. So what I can see right now is the current visual process flow for accounts payable. And a lot of it is hidden by a lot of menus. Now if you have a larger monitor to work with, it would be a lot easier for you to work and create the visual process flow. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to move these menus aside. Now there's a lot of menus here. This uh, quick introduction is uh, simply an introduction to editing and creating visual process flows. But I think you're going to find that most of these menus here are fairly self-explanatory. So again, it's our objective to create a brand new button. And when that button is clicked on, it's simply going to launch the AP Vendor Activity screen. So everything that you see on this window here is comprised of some sort of an object or an icon. So let's say, uh, for example, that I wanted to be able to use this button or have a button that looks like this button here, AP Enter Vendor Invoices. I might want a button like this to appear on my main window. If I was to click on this object, you'll notice that it does get highlighted. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this object. So again, there is a menu here that has copy on it. I'm going to click on copy, which makes a copy of the object. And then I'm going to click on paste again. And of course, that is going to paste a new copy of that object, as you can see here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this button to somewhere on my landing page here. And it's obviously a good idea if I have some sort of a text box beside that button that tells me what this button is about to do. So again, there's a lot of text boxes that currently appear here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply copy an existing text box. There's a text box called Vendor Activities. I'm going to simply copy this like I did before. So I highlight Vendor Activities. I click on Copy. And then I'm going to click on Paste, which is beneath Copy. And it, again, it copies the item that was highlighted down here. Now what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to bring this up via drag and drop such that it's beside this button here. So again, I now have a new text box called Vendor Activities. Now what I want to do is I want to call this Vendor Activity. So I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to change the description a little bit such that it reads Vendor Activity. Now this isn't going to do anything all by itself. What I need to be able to do is I need to link this text box to the appropriate Sage 300 ERP object. So to do that, I'm going to click on Vendor Activity. And I'm going to look for this menu box here, and there is something called Link. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Link, make sure that the vendor activity is highlighted. And again, I'm going to call up the appropriate function here. So AP1500 is already highlighted. But if I click on this ellipsis here, I might want to select a different object, for example. If I click on this drop down box beside Program, all of the appropriate modules for Sage 300 ERP will appear. And where it says screen, I'm going to click on this drop down box and I'm going to select the appropriate object here. And again, we already know that the object that we want is the view AP1500. So I'm going to click on AP1500 and I'm going to click on OK. And I'm going to click on OK again. Once I've finished entering or editing the visual process flow, I can click on Save As. And I'm going to save this process flow as AP Customized or AP Custom. Once we've saved the visual process flow, I'm going to click on Close. And as you can see, I now have my customized button, my vendor activity appearing here under my landing page. If I was to click on Vendor Activity, it does launch the AP Vendor Activity screen. 
So this is how you go about editing an existing visual process flow. You'll notice that when I get back to the screen, we don't see the customizations that we've made to the visual process flow. To be able to view the customizations that you have made, we need to click on Admin Services. And there is an icon called Assign Visual Process Flows. What I'm going to do is I'm going to assign the visual process flow customization that we had just created to a user called AP Clerk. So in the user ID field, I'm going to select the AP Clerk. And then what I want to do is scroll down to Custom Process Flows. We see the process flow that we have created called AP Custom. I'm going to select AP Custom and I'm going to click on Save. Let's have a look at what happens when a user called AP Clerk logs into Sage 300 ERP. If you have a look at the left hand pane under Visual Process Flows, there is now a single visual process flow for accounts payable, and that is AP Custom. You can see the customization that we had made to this visual process flow neatly in the interface.